Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. if you're new. I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information is in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. Um, I, I had COVID. I was really sick there for a while and then I had to get really busy at work, but I'm back. I feel better and I'm glad to be here. Okay, so we're set up for Christmas here, and we're using the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. It's my niece's. It's, it's a really cute deck. Um, I'm going to be using the Angel Answers deck. This has two yes cards and two no cards. If you have a question, you might get a yes or no answer or something else. A Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck, and we're also going to be using the Mother Mary Oracle for Christmas. All right, so let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Just so you know, I'm only on three social media platforms here on YouTube. I post these videos on my personal uh, Facebook wall, and I am doing summaries and uploading those to TikTok. So if you're here from TikTok, welcome, 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 welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. I really love to see new subscribers. I get new followers every day on TikTok. I'm, I'm just really um, glad for that. Thanks, everybody. Um, also, I do uh, offer personal readings. If you would like to book me for one, you could message me on Messenger or send me an email from the email address in the description box below. Also, if you would like to give me a tip or donation, my uh, PayPal is also in that description box. So let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. No, just like half the deck. Well, this deck wants to come out in chunks. Man. All right. There we go. Okay. Two more cards. No. Hang on. All right. I got to pick those up. Where did I get? I think I just got two more cards here. Yep. Alrighty. Interesting. All right. So what you have is uh, the bottom of the deck here. The energy, the underlying energy of this entire read is justice in the reverse. Justice. This is a, a Libra energy. This is beginnings and endings. This is injustice. You feel like something is off. Something was unjust. Um, so what we have here is the Empress in the reverse. Your abundance is off. You, um, this is toxic feminine energy that you're dealing with. Right on top of your Ten of Presence, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like an inheritance or your family home or your happy family life. Um, it's been abundant, but right now you're dealing with some toxic feminine. It could be like a mother or a grandmother that is being toxic right now when it comes to an inheritance or a home, um, or it just could really be messing with your happy family life right now. This is what you're concerned with. Now, what we have here is the seven of presence, which is the seven of pentacles, and it's in the reverse. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is about taking care of your investments, watering your garden of life. You're, you're not quite doing that here. Okay, it's in the reverse. So you're not watering your garden of life. You're not paying attention to what you've invested your time and energy in. And then we have the Two of Candles here. Um, that's the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is all about making a tough decision. One decision is in your comfort zone. One decision is out of your comfort zone. So I have a feeling that you need to make this tough decision outside of your comfort zone so that you can uh, water your garden of life. All right, so we just had some company. Not sure where I was in this. All right, so mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm gonna right here, the two of candles. Okay, so what we've got over here is the lovers in the reverse. There might be a Gemini involved here. And then below we have the three of presents. Okay, so um, you have not made this decision just yet. The lovers, 
you know, a lot of the time people look at that as a love card, but what you got down here, the two of candles, this is a decision. Okay, so you're not going to make that decision yet because you're collaborating. You're going to hold back on this decision because you might be working with some other people to create something new. And you may just want to wait until you see what is created to make this decision. But you know this decision is hanging over your head. Okay. Um, now I'm being shown how all the stuff above here is in the reverse. There's kind of like a negative and everything down here is upright. So I feel like this, this stuff that feels negative up here is supported in positivity. Okay, like you're going through this so that positive things can come in, which is the injustice, the imbalance. Okay. Um, but what this is saying is this is kind of balanced in its own way. You see what I'm saying? You got negative and you've got positive right here. Even though you feel like this isn't balanced, it is. Let's see what the, uh, the angels want to say about this. Hang on. Sorry about that. All right. So angels, let's see what's going on with the angels. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok. All right, in the near future and remain positive. See, this is what I was saying. This positivity uh, below all this is kind of like a foundation. And in the near future is when this is going to turn around, when you, when you understand what you need to do, the decision that you're going to make in the near future. Just stay positive. Oh, wow, look, you guys. Yes. The answer is yes. Plus, this is positivity. Okay? Yes, remain positive in the near future. That's almost like a, a sentence. Okay? So, yes, remain positive even in the near future. Just remain positive all the time. It just brings in more positivity. Yeah, but something is going to happen here in the near future. And, uh, and it's this decision. Because I'm being shown these two angels here and the lovers, which is the non-decision. We've got these two snakes here. But if you remain positive, this choice will be positive. It will be angels, not snakes. If <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> cracking myself up you know justice is about beginnings and endings what's under here it's showing me the card underneath ace of needles in the reverse yeah you've been a little um that would be the ace of swords so you've been a little confused your mind's been a little bit clouded you haven't known what to do but it's it'll come in into focus okay So the first one you got was trust and the second one is power. Okay. Yeah. I, I was saying right here with this, you know, stay positive, trust in the positive, trust in this positive stuff that's below all this negative stuff because, um, it's saying trust in the power of positivity guys, trust in the power of positivity. And in the near future, you will see just how powerful it actually is. 
Discernment is what is needed here. Okay, you have to know, you have to watch. Um, watch the power of positivity at work. Now this is here is speak no evil, see no ear evil and hear no evil. Okay, so this is saying just stay on the positive side. Just don't be dealing with anything negative right now. Just stay positive and trust in the power of positivity. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what Mary wants to say about all this and we'll close out your reading, which is Wow, it's, we're really only at six minutes right now. That is one of the fastest readings, but it's very clear. Maybe your choice is a choice between working with others and maybe you're not going to choose working with others. Our Lady who sends the angels. Look at this. See how I was talking about this? In the near future, there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be assistance through the angels, through the what? Through the power of positivity. See how she's got wings on her? She's got wings on her. And he's got wings as well, like coming out of this area. This is angelic energy. So she is sending the angels something about true blue here. We got bluebirds. Our Lady of the Ocean of Rebirth. Wow. I've never seen this one. So what I feel from this, the ocean of rebirth, is the ocean is the mother of everybody. The, the, we all came from the ocean. The waters, when we're born, we come out of salt water. This is a rebirth for you. And, you know, I don't have a whole lot of what could be said as the... The, the shadow self or the dark night is, of the soul is what I was looking for. There is something that will be reborn here. Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. Um, your heart is telling you what to do. Your heart already knows to stay positive. I feel like because it's whispering, you, maybe you don't listen to it as much. But it's saying a whisper can be very loud. Okay, listen to these whispers of your heart because your heart knows what to do. Our Lady who prevents interference. Right. So what was I just talking about? When our heart whispers to us, it does so because it's not going to be the kind of energy that is in your face. It's not going to be like, you have to do this. The heart is a gentle guidance. The heart knows the soul's path. And the soul's path is, is to... 
learn. We come here to learn. And so you may, like say you're in class and you're taking a test and you know the answer to a question, but you are not sure. It's that not being confident in yourself, that uncertainty that is the interference, but your heart knows the answer. Now I'm also being shown this. There's stars in her mantle and there's these white star looking flowers on her veil. There's something there kind of Wonder Woman, kind of Parvati type of energy here. And she's got a baby with her. Okay, so you've got two cards here with the heart. And then we've got two cards here with her holding a baby. Okay, and we've got the Empress here upside down. She usually is pregnant. And so this is, I feel like this is showing you that whether or not you want an actual child, you are pregnant with some sort of energy that needs to be birthed or rebirthed. Bottom of the deck, Our Lady of Soul Birth. Okay, three cards now. You are rebirthing a part of your soul. What does that even mean? Rebirthing part of your soul. Well, I think that it has to do with the power of positivity. When we're children, we're usually pretty positive. I remember as a kid, I would see something happen. I'm like, well, we could just do this, or you could just do that. Or, you know, there's, there's this positivity that comes with innocence, especially if you have somewhat of a happy childhood. So there's a part of you that you used to listen to as a, when you were younger. And as you've gotten older, you, I don't, I just heard you've gotten harder. You may have gotten a little harder. You may have started to listen to the uncertainty that overpowers your whispering heart. It's the interference. Okay. There's an energy here that is preventing interference with the lady who sends the angels, the lady of the whispering heart, the lady of the ocean of rebirth. This, that's what's going on here. This entity is protected. And that inter entity is trying to work her magic in you. So there's a part of yourself that needs to come back out. And so what is a birth? A birth is it's a hard, it can be a hard thing. It's not easy to give birth. Okay. It, it takes a lot, not a lot, but it does take some suffering, some sacrifice to get from one point to the other where something is finally brought out into the open and loved and appreciated. Okay. So there's a bit of a struggle here, but it's going to come out. Um, no pun intended, it's going to come out beautiful and angelic. All right, that's what I have for you at this time, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.